If your welder is kind of acting like this, kind of slow to feed, then this video might be for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the liner on this Lincoln Pro MIG 175. It's a very easy job, but you might look at it at first and say, well, how does this come apart? Well, I'm going to show you all that. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pop that loose and wind your wire backwards. You might wanna hold tension on your wire while you're doing that to keep any chance of the wire going crazy because if you just let it go, it'll spin all over the place and you'll have a really hard time getting it back together. So I just like to take the end and kind of kind of bend it around something. That way it kind of holds that tension on there that I was telling you about. All right, next you're gonna need to remove the assembly off the front. So this little wing nut right here towards the front, or wing bolt, probably a wing bolt would be a better word, is your huckleberry right here. And just pull your trigger wires off. There's only two wires. It doesn't matter which way they go, so you don't have to mark them. Pull those out of there. And just grab your assembly here, and it'll pull right on out of there. Get your wires out, and that's it. You're out. All right, so if you notice here, here's the end of our old liner right here in the tip of that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I've got this thing clamped down in a vise because this step works better if this uh, whole assembly is stretched out. But before I remove the old liner, I'm going to go ahead and pull this diffuser off right here. Just so we can get at everything a little better. All right, right there. See how long that is. Hopefully we can make the new one just about the same. Okay, so to pull this liner out, you're going to want to undo this set screw right here. I'm using a one and a half millimeter Allen head wrench. And just grab the liner and pull, get it started. And just, it'll come right out. Very easy. Okay, so once again, with your assembly stretched out straight here, go ahead and feed the new liner through and make sure you have the right liner. Um, I had to go back to the store, they gave me the wrong liner and I didn't even realize it until I was right in the middle of this. So uh, having the right liner is a big help. Um, I've got this stretched out straight, the other end is in a vise. If you don't have a vise handy, then just have someone hold the other end. Uh, this does feed much easier. There's coming out of the other end. This does feed much easier with, um, with the thing stretched out straight. Just like so. And I'll go ahead and tighten our set screw back. So obviously our liner is way too long here. We've got 15 feet of liner in a 10 foot gun. So we have to cut it. Um, you want to make sure not to crush the liner. Um, I use a good pair of dikes to do this. Um, it's a good idea if you're not sure to make it a little long and practice to see how it does. And we had about an inch and a quarter sticking through before, so I'm going to cut it the same way. Right like so. And the end of it looks great. Just put our diffuser back in there. And we'll just go ahead and put this back together just the same way we took it apart. All right, I'll hook it back up on the inside just the same way I did before and we'll go ahead and test it. All right, works like a champ. Thanks for watching.